Hello and welcome to this episode of Emacs Bytes. This is about lists and it's a sort of more advanced look at what lists is. There's an episode list basics which covers the standard stuff that you need to do to just get going with lists like uh, list one, two, three, and being able to evaluate that. Uh, but this is more advanced list work. We're going to start talking about something that seems unrelated to lists. The construct cons makes pairs. If I evaluate that, we can see it makes a pair, 1.2. Though you'll notice that it's in parentheses, which is a bit suspicious. What can we do with the cons? We can take the car of a cons, just like we could take the car of a list. The car of the cons is 1. That's the first element. Uh, guess what the CDR is of this? That's right. It's 2. So cons is a pair, and we could put anything in there. We could put 1 and hello. And that's what we get. What happens though if we nest the cons, if we have another cons here, say, let's do that. Oh look, this starts to look like a list, one, two, dot, three. Okay, so the thing to understand about this is that this is exactly cons is how lists are constructed because lists aren't a flat data structure that you can just say oh give me the third element of um, lists are a nested data structure just like this so in order to make a proper list we have to say something like this now we can see that that's one, two, three. If I take the car of that list, we can see that that's one. If I take the CDR of that list, we can see that that's two, three. If I take the CDDR of that list, we can see that that's three. If I take the CADDR of that list, it fails. Uh, but we can certainly take the CADR of that list. So, The interesting thing about these data structures is that we can take an existing list and we can extend it as long as the second part of a cons is a list you've got another valid list nil is a valid list you can prove that t here means that's a valid list so nil is the list that means it's empty we could also use the empty list So as long as the end of a cons is a cons or a list, we're good. That's fantastically useful. Because if we take a list, one, two, three, four, five. So now we've got L. And that's one, two, three, four, five. We can add another list. We can create a completely new list. Now this there's a list ten, three, four, five. It has that all to Dell? No, L remains one, two, three, four, five. That's a really important concept about lists, because that's what makes the functional nature of Lisp. The fact that we've got a data structure that we don't have to mutate in order to add more elements to it or even create a new list with elements taken away. 
I can remove um, one and two from this list and add 10 by just jumping down into the list at this point and adding another element to that section. So it's extremely efficient if you use it right. Um, and you don't have to mutate anything, so, or you don't necessarily have to mutate anything, so it's quite safe. That's really all there is in advanced lists. Understanding cons is deceptively hard. Um, go and practice that in an Emacs session. Have fun. Uh, see you next time.